<clears throat> it's been a while since I've made a YouTube video. In fact, I was starting to worry that I'd lost my content creation mojo altogether. But you know what else helps you lose your content creation mojo very quickly? Bot raids on Twitch. Hello, it's Thursday. I don't know what to do now because I missed last Thursday, so I've, I've kind of got out of the Thursday rhythm. Um, I've had two Tuesday streams in a row. Uh, I do always... Oh, well, flipping heck. And did you see how quickly that chat took off with, as it turns out on this occasion, racist messages, which was awful. I was like, this is in my chat. I can't get rid of it. I can't, I couldn't think of, I just, you know, my brain was a scramble. And I know tools have come out since to help prevent these raids. Uh, sorry, bot to name but one. Brilliant tool. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, Commander Root for sifting out those bot followers after the fact. I'll put that in the description too. This video is not about those. This video is about, well, what do you do if you don't have those in place or if they're not working or if they're not perfect and something gets through? Well, what gave me the reassurance to carry on streaming, knowing that I was safe or at least I could deal with the situation was setting up a red alert button. I mean, lots of people talked about doing something similar. Nutty went to town on it and had full-blown lights going off in the background. So I've taken some inspiration from that. These lights will change color to red or yellow. That's mainly for me to see if the button's been activated. Because you see, where mine is slightly different is I don't have to be the one to activate it. If I'm deep in stream, if I'm deep in game and I don't notice what's going on in chat and a bot raid comes in, chat moderators specifically can actually fire that button too. And it is that button that they're pressing, if you like, in a virtual sense, because that's something that you can do in Sami. Obviously, you could use different software, and there's so many different ways of doing this. I'm just showing you what I've done on my stream and how I've got it set up to give you an idea, hopefully give you a flavour. You can adapt it as you see fit then. I've got three buttons, red alert, yellow alert, and cancel alert, all set up in Sami. If I look at the red alert button, uh, the top three there are specific to my stream. So I've set up the F11 key on my keyboard so that it turns off my overlays. And the same with the other two, it just turns off elements of the background in my just chatting scene. Uh, then we've got chat commands. Essentially what this is doing is firing off chat commands, just like you could type yourself in Twitch chat or your moderators could, but this can do it a lot faster. And when you're in that shocked stage where the, the, the raiders come in, the bot raiders come in and you still have that split second, oh, what do I do? Even if you've prepared for it, this will just fire off all the commands you need to. So it sets it to emote only chat. Of course, there is no way of turning chat off on Twitch. I know lots of us, is a euphemism, myself included, we'll say, oh, turn chat off. But what we really mean is make it impossible for the bots to post any more messages. So emote only mode, uh, followers only mode for 10 minutes. So, you know, that'll really put off any, <laughs> well, it'll put off bots, it'll put off most of your chat as well, probably, but hopefully they'll understand. Subscriber only mode, and then one of the most important ones, slash clear, just clear the chat, get rid of any garbage that any bot has posted in there, whether it's offensive or not, just, just get rid of it, just wipe the whole thing. And then the bottom one is for me, it just makes the lights flash red behind me. But if we cancel out of that, here's the PS to resistance. Right click on the button and edit triggers. And what that does is allow you to enable chat to trigger that button or any button, actually. It doesn't have to be for this purpose, but obviously right now I'm talking about uh, bot raids and stuff. So you can add a new trigger, Twitch chat, and I'm just replicating what you can see above. Exclamation mark red is going to be the command. Only allow mods uh, or subscriber, you know, you could do all of those, but only allowed mods to trigger that. Obviously, you don't want anybody just randomly causing chaos in your stream by triggering it. Only let mods that you trust fire that command, but they're, they're firing this button directly. So what's handy about that, as I said before, is that if you then decide, oh, hang on, I need to actually add an extra command here. So you go to Twitch commands, uh, send chat message. I actually wanted to do something else. You edit that button, next time chat uses the command, it will run exactly as you've programmed it, as if you fired it from your own instance of Sami. And all I've done then, just to finish off, to get an actual button on my Elgato Stream Deck is use the brilliant plugin from StreamUp, I'll put a link in the description, and that lets you trigger a Leoran board or a Sami button using your Stream Deck. 
So yeah, I hope this has helped you, given you some ideas. If you want to chat in the comments or on my Discord, feel free. And yeah, I just hope you never have to use any of it. But if you do, it's there. <laughs>